Sex, drugs, and alcohol, a feature in a local high school yearbook, has one parent grilling administrators. KXAN's Aaron Cargill is live in Pflugerville with this story. Robert, yearbooks were issued yesterday here at Pflugerville High School where around 2,200 students attend. When one mother took a look inside, she was floored over messages from students here and photos about teen pregnancy, illegal drugs, and underage drinking. Just could not believe that that was in there. And Shonda Ewing shelled out the cash for her son's yearbook. We paid about $70 for this yearbook. Her 17-year-old brought it home Monday. So this is the page that he showed me. Page 24, a picture of an ultrasound of an unborn baby takes up the bottom half. Above it are letters from the expecting mother and father, two students at Pflugerville High School. They explain the challenges of keeping the child, staying in school, and future plans to attend community college. To me, the teenage pregnancy, that doesn't have a place in the school yearbook. On the next page are street names of illegal drugs submitted by students, along with percentages of the student body who said they've used drugs and alcohol compared to national stats. And underneath, more survey results from PHS students titled, What's Your Opinion on Sex? Showing how many say they're waiting and who's not. If they see it's a problem, teenage pregnancy in the school, which I know it is, my son has girls in different classes who are pregnant, drugs I know is a problem in that school, I'd like to know as a parent, instead of publicizing this, what are they doing about it? Ewing emailed a copy of the pages to the school board, principal and superintendent Tuesday, asking why they were printed. The district declined to respond on camera and issued the following statement. The Pflugerville High School yearbook is a publication written by students for students and reflects the issues and trends at PHS in a given year. Each yearbook is a unique representation of the student body. Content is approved by a faculty advisor and in this case by the principal before for publication. But even students we spoke with wonder about the decision to publicize teen pregnancy. I mean, it's almost like they're rewarding them for having sex and getting pregnant by put, giving them their own page in the yearbook. As for Ewing, she'll be removing at least two pages before giving the yearbook back to her son. Now, the district also says that they will be happy to speak with Ewing about her concerns and tell me she is the only parent so far who has contacted the district with any issues on the yearbook. Live in Pflugerville tonight, Aaron Cargill, KXA in Austin News.